Your research here is all about finding out which low carbon energy efficient technologies work best. What have you found so far? In this building here, building that's a year old, has ground source heat pumps. Uh, so these are high efficiency heat pumps that uh, take the heat out of the ground in winter and put it back in summer. Uh, and we're finding that they work pretty well. Um, they heat the building, they cool the building, so uh, they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, we're still monitoring to see exactly how efficient they are, but, uh, but the, all the signs are pretty good at the moment. Um, we've also done quite a lot of uh, testing on photovoltaics, not just on this building, but uh, in other installations around London. And what's quite interesting is that the um, predicted performance and the actual performance are quite similar. So that's quite a good sign. It means that uh, if, if you can predict how technology is going to perform, uh, that means it's a much safer bet when you install them and you're going to invest in that. So photovoltaics looks pretty good. Solar thermal uh, works pretty well. I've had solar thermal for 10 years. I know I get uh, half of my hot water out of that. So even in the UK, when people say solar thermal doesn't, doesn't heat water properly, it does. Um, uh, are these technologies cost effective? Well, the jury's still out. We still need to get the costs down. The installed costs need to come down. Um, uh, so uh, there's work to be done there, and we still need to have the right skills to install them properly and to maintain them. But other things that work are you know, l low, low energy lighting. You have to put in the, the best lighting systems that you can. Um, smart metering is beginning to come in, and that's beginning to show that if you, if you uh, show how much energy you're using in a building, that will change people's behavior. So that's a good, that's a good signal.